Welcome everyone. My name is Devin and with me today I have Julio Petrovich, Product Manager at NetAlly, who will show us how to use an AirCheck G2 to solve some of the most common Wi-Fi problems. How are you today, Julio? I'm pretty good. How about yourself? Thank you for having me. So Julio, here I have a list of common Wi-Fi problems that our viewers often encounter. Mm -hmm. Would you be able to demonstrate how an AirCheck G2 can quickly solve these problems? I sure can. Let's get started then. The common Wi-Fi problem has to do with Wi-Fi connectivity issues. How can the AirCheck G2 help solve those? Uh, first, let me show you here very quickly how the AirCheck G2 looks like. So you'll start first by taking your AirCheck G2, going to the problem area where you're having connectivity uh, issues, and then basically you'll run what we call an auto test. Uh, one thing to highlight here very quickly is that you have the option of connecting remotely to the AirCheck G2, which is what I'm doing now. But basically, a straightforward to troubleshoot connectivity problems, the easiest way is to run an auto test. The auto test is like a one press button uh, type of test where you just tap and it will run a series of tests automatically, starting with air quality to validate how busy the channels are or basically channel utilization. It will identify problems with co-channel or adjacent channel interference, for example. It will also identify rogues. But most importantly, after it's done with all that, it will also run a connection test, which you can configure. So you can configure it to run, for example, a connection test on multiple networks or SSIDs. And the way it works is pretty straightforward. First, the connection test will start by validating that you can connect to the Wi-Fi network itself. So can I connect to the network, authenticate, exchange packets, what's my signal strength, and so on. It's very common that people will say, oh, the Wi-Fi is not working. But when you run a test like this, you'll notice, well, I am able to connect to the Wi-Fi. So what's next? Well, you need to verify that you're getting an IP address. This is really one of the most common issues where people think it's a Wi-Fi problem, but when you run the test, it's not really Wi-Fi, the problem is not really Wi-Fi related. It's more that you can get an IP address, so that's more DHCP related. So you'll go through that step. After that, you can validate that you can see the DHCP server. Can I see the gateway? Is it responding? Because sometimes, hey, I can get an IP address, but I can't connect to the internet. So people say, oh, Wi-Fi is not working. But it's not really the Wi-Fi again. It's just your, maybe the gateway is not responding. And so on, same thing with the DNS server or other targets that you can configure. For example, I have uh, google.com here, but you could configure any other, for example, website or IP address which you want to test against. And another thing very super quickly, notice you can run a connection test against multiple SSIDs at the same time. So if you have multiple networks or SIDs, hey, one press and that's it. Wow, that was easy. The second common problem pertains to Wi-Fi network coverage. How can the AirCheck G2 help validate Wi-Fi network coverage? So when it comes to coverage, there's a few different ways to do it, but the easiest way will be by performing a site survey. And that's where the air mapper option on the AirCheck G2 comes in. Basically, it allows you to import a floor plan, let's say, some, for example, something like this into a unit, and perform both active or passive surveys. And in the case where you want to validate coverage, you could just, for example, perform a passive survey by clicking on Start, then go into the area where you want to start your survey. Let's say you want to start here on this hallway. Then just tap on the screen and start walking. Basically you walk, let's say you get to the edge here, I tap again, and so on you continue. Basically what's going on here is that every time I tap on the screen, I'm collecting a data point, which includes coverage information. And you just repeat the same until you complete the entire site. And then after you're done, you can upload those results uh, to our link live service. And from there, you can basically generate a heat map. So I can go now, for example, to link live, select my project and generate a heat map that will basically show you a graphical representation 
on how the Wi-Fi network looks like. And now you basically here you, you can see your coverage. For example, the bluer areas are the stronger signals. Uh, greener, yellowish, orangey areas are the weaker signals. And of course, from here, you can use lots of filtering tools and so on to focus on the network you want. Last common problem. How can you use the AirCheck G2 to help locate rogue or unauthorized devices? This is uh, one that's very common, most, mostly in secure areas, basically, or enterprise networks. People get creative and they sometimes bring their own, let's say, home routers. Uh, to work around network issues and have their own private Wi-Fi, you could say. But they, what they don't think about is that those unauthorized devices can impact the performance of the network. But it's pretty straightforward to locate rogues with an AirCheck G2. Uh, first, just go to the access points option. In here, you'll be able to see a list of all the access points in the area. And notice one of the cool things about the AirCheck is that using an ACL file, or classic, uh, device classification file, uh, you can classify the devices and say, for example, authorized, a little check mark, or unauthorized, for example. And from there, you could, let's say, if there, you have hundreds of APs, you could use a filter like this one and filter by, let's say, authorization class and only select unauthorized devices. And now, you'll, now you know, hey, which devices are out there that shouldn't be there. For example, this ASUS device here, this is a, with an open network, which is worse yet, uh, it's out there. So let's say we want to track it down. So yes, select. And now on the lower left of the screen, you'll have the locate option. So just click in there. And now the way it works, pretty straightforward, you'll own the locate tool, which works like a type of Geiger counter or mail detector. And basically it goes beep, beep, beep. And you start walking around the site. The closer you get to a device, the stronger the signal will become. And then when you get to a point where the signal uh, won't grow any stronger, you know you're on top of that device. And as I mentioned, it goes beep, beep, beep and everything. Or you have the option of even of using an external directional antenna if you want to uh, make the location process easier. But yeah, that's basically how it works. Ooh, another thing you want to mention pretty quickly, um, notice that not only can you use this for locating unauthorized devices, a very common use is when you're replacing an old Wi-Fi network and the old APs are all hidden in different places on the roof and no one knows where they're at. Well, uh, this can help you find those so you can replace them. Impressive. Thank you so much, Julio, for showing us how to use an AirCheck G2 to solve some of the most common Wi-Fi problems. Happy to help. Thank you guys for having me. And thank you, viewers, for joining us. If you want more information on NetAllies AirCheck G2, click on the link below.